Thank you so much for staying with us for another edition of All Angles. I'm Dion Jackson Miller, and a very special welcome to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Well, so much talk here in Jamaica, as is usual, every year before, during, and after the Grammys in relation to the reggae album category. So, I want to take a look at that issue. How are the winners selected, as well as a wider issue of what's happening with reggae in Jamaica? So, joining us this evening, we are pleased to have with us entertainer Mr. Vega. We also have Odessa Chambers. She's a producer here at TVJ and an entertainment executive. Derek Wilkes with us as well. Also in a part of our family at rgr94fm.com and Dr. Sonja Stanley Nayo, Senior Lecturer of Cultural Studies at the University of the West Indies. And remember, you can tweet along with us. Our hashtag is TVJ All Angles. And we have an overview. Ready? Let's go to that. The Grammys was established in 1958 by the American and National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences to honor outstanding achievements in various categories in the recording industry. One of those categories is reggae music. Reggae's association with the Grammys started in 1985 with the first Grammy winner, well-known Jamaican band Black Uhuru, with their record, Anthem. At the time, it was called the Grammy Award for Best Reggae Recording. The name was changed in 1992 to Best Reggae Album. In that year, renowned dancehall DJ Shaba Ranks won with his album, Raw As Ever. Shaba would win the Reggae Grammy again the following year, in 1993. To date, there have been 33 Grammy Awards for the Best Reggae Album, or Record, as it used to be called. 13 of that 33 have gone to the Marley Brothers, with Ziggy Marley being the most prolific, with seven Grammys, his latest being in 2017. Damien Junior Gong Marley is next in line with four Grammys, including his win on Sunday. Stephen Marley in 2010 and 2012 has copped two Grammys. With all the talk about overseas entertainers taking over Jamaican music, the only non-Jamaican group to win a reggae Grammy is Steel Pulse in 1987. Notable winners over the years include Shaggy with Bombastic in 1996, Beaniman with Art and Life in 2001, Sean Paul with Dutty Rock in 2004. Notable albums which never won include Gregory Isaacs, Private and Confidential in 2001, Barry Hammond, Music is Life in 2002, and Buj Banton's Rasta Got Soul in 2010. There has been much debate about this year's Grammys, with Chronix who has been hailed as the new face of reggae, having been a local favorite for many Jamaicans. For All Angles, I'm Giovanni Dennis. All right, thank you so much. Just reminding you again, hashtag TVJ All Angles. Well, le let me just start with that, though, although certain and certain people said they're not going out on a limb on that one yet, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me ask you all what you thought. <laughs> what you all thought. What you all thought of the winning album? You can answer, not answer, but I'm asking anyway. Vegas. On me first. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I personally um, love the album. Um, I'm, a, I'm a major... Stevie Marley, Junior Gang fan. Um, I just love their, their, their professionalism. And um, the way they go about doing their music is like a team effort, you know? It's like Stephen put so much emphasis in creating the, the music from his younger brother that I just really respect that and look up to that. Um, so when I listen to the album, you know, it, it, it has a lot of different vibe that I, that I could really, really embrace. That talk about Neil Pancras, that talk about, um, you know, medication and all of these things. So it's, it's a great album to me still. Yeah. It's oh, full of diversity. Same thing. Um, I listen to both albums. <coughs> while a five in a category. Uh, well, <laughs> no, actually, I listen to three of them. Okay. I've only listened to two tracks from Jay Boog's album. I didn't know anything about Common Kings at all. Um, but uh, Morgan Heritage, I'm, I respect that. They, they, this is the second time they've been nominated. And being nominated is a big thing. I don't think people realize that. It's, it's, you know, they just think it's something the, but it's a big thing. Chronix, it's his first real album that he's put out, and it's a huge thing, but it, it didn't, to me, it wasn't better. It wasn't a better quality. It wasn't a better well-produced album than Junior Gong's Stony Hill. Stony Hill spoke to me. It said things that I haven't 
heard before from somebody who's a lot younger than me, my peers, and I just, I didn't skip the album. I didn't skip the album at all. It's, you know, I have to give respect where respect is due. Derek. <laughs> well, I finally had to take Stony Hill off repeat in my, in my vehicle because people started complaining. <laughs> and I, I really love the album. I, I, I established that. I'm a Chronics fan. I've always been since Jumpstart. And, and yes, there are others in the, in the category, but the discussion really has been between Chronix and um, Junior Gong. The album really is a phenomenal one, um, Stony Hill. From the sneak peek we got on YouTube um, earlier on, um, that was the hook, you know, and the rest of the tracks as they came out just cemented his position as uh, a real young warrior in the, in the industry. Um, the fact that he has a very creative older brother who is almost a production guru. When Stephen gets in that lab, he's not coming out until he's mm -hmm. every syncopated note mm -hmm. is as he dreams it. Mm -hmm. um, so from a production standpoint, we have an excellently produced album. Um, Junigong is an excellent writer as well. Excellent. He hits all the chords. He resonates with the young people without alienating the older, older audience. And he addresses the themes that are pertinent, that are current, that some of us fear or fail to, to address. And, uh, and with that said, um, we also have to establish that the Grammys really is an American peer award. Mm -hmm. the, the Marleys have an exceptional presence in, in, the, in the US. All right, hold that thought, because we're going to come back to those issues. Let me go to the culture doctor. Funny, everybody has declared themselves. I wonder who left, who said they've not declared <laughs> themselves. <laughs> but, but in addition, I mean, just uh, uh, you, you finished this great article actually looking at the Grammy wins and the issue of Mali in particular. But first, I'm still going to ask you, you're going, what you thought of the winning album? Um, well, just to be honest, I was listening to the winning album. I bought the music. I believe in buying the music. So I bought both albums, as in Chronix and um, Junior Gong's. And I fell asleep listening to Junior Gong's album. It, let me, in the interest of integrity, just declare that. Um, I am a Chronix fan, and I'm absolutely a Junior Gong fan. I think that he is indeed, as Derek says, a young warrior coming out of a formidable musical empire, which, you know, if we think about Jamaica, the, that empire, the Marley empire, is for me the only empire out of Jamaica. And that is something that we ought not to underestimate at all. There is a, there's going to be production quality. They come out of a, a family where the work ethic was absolutely something that Bob, you know, had for himself instilled in the people who were working around him. And so it's, 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 it's interesting that three generations of Marleys, they are into music, they are into great music, they are into producing great music. And Stephen is, of course, a genius when it comes on to um, production. I don't know why I hear a bot coming somewhere here. No, 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 there's no bot. What I'm, what I'm wanting to steer the conversation to is the fact that the production and the music quality really has nothing to do with the Grammy Awards. And more importantly, the Recording Academy has a party that they throw every year, and Jamaicans are not even necessarily invited. We have the best reggae, cat reggae album um, category. There is only one category of award in that um, genre of music called reggae, which covers um, not even all the genres of music out of Jamaica. I mean, when was the last time that a real dance hall album won the, 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 the Grammy? And of course, that's something that we need to talk about. Our genres are so many, having given the world seven or eight, depending on who you talk to, distinct genres of music in the latter half of the 20th century, is a reggae category the only category we need in the context of the Grammy? And I think that this is where those who went on a mission to speak to those executives in the context of the, the, um, the, the controversies coming out in, 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 in Jamaica, the displeasure that people have had with the Grammys, you know, that's, that's where we need to be going. A conversation about how to make the, 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 the award something that is more amenable to one, the productions coming out of Jamaica and the representation of Jamaican music in a fulsome way in that context. Let me throw to Vegas on that because I actually read in, in um, 
Dr. Nair's article that you were one of those people who went to meet with the executives right, after right. Freddie McGregor raised that stink and said foolishness and not going with. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, well we met and I, and I basically, you know, let them know that there is a Marley stigma. Um, meaning what? Meaning that people in Jamaica, especially Jamaica, just think that, um, just think that the Marleys are always winning. If your Marley is in the category, no one else cannot win. And, um, you know, they are aware of that as well. So we said, you know what, we need to have some form of committee that is, that, that, that is there to kind of have a preliminary, you know, you, know, you know, before the albums are selected to vote on. Um, so, you know, there, there are things that they're going to look into. There are things that they are, they are, they are they're, they're trying to do better to, to make the Grammy more, you know, up a thing in Jamaica than just an afterthought. All right, hold, hold that thought. I want to take the break. have to take the break. When I come back, I need to follow up on that a little bit more, though, and this whole thing about how it works, how it doesn't work. So stay tuned. We'll soon come. And remember, TVJ All Angles is our hashtag.